Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today we are finally getting uh, what we wanted to hear probably all summer <laughs> Ariana Grande, Swedener, finally here um, let's, just, just, let's just get into it because uh, this is probably my favorite era of Ariana Grande I'm finally digging her music a lot, a lot so Let's stop wasting the time. <laughs> Ariana Grande, Sweetener, first reaction. Let's go. Alright, sound check is <laughs> done. Track one Raindrops, an angel cried. An angel cried. Okay, okay. Ariana Grande is just starting with uh, showing off her <laughs> incredible vocals. <laughs> Track two, Blazing, featuring Pharrell Williams. Okay. Yes, this is fun. This is awesome. <laughs> yep. It makes me dance, it's like I want to stand up and dance. <laughs> nice, I really love the instrumental and how Ariana is performing, it's different for her to be honest, like this sound is new and even how she sings, like she tries new things. Yeah, it's incredibly catchy. Williams coming in. <laughs> okay, track three, The Light is Coming featuring Nicki Minaj. Awesome song, I really like it. Let's get it. Hey yo, trophy wife, out you won me. Now I'm the bad guy. Call, Call me, me Chan Lee. Lee. Cause you was slipping, yep, you clumsy. And everything I peep can't just unsee. Six teeth, and it's unsee. Come on. <laughs> what a fun song. <laughs> Track four R E M. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is famous Pharrell Williams beat. Like beat count, like his signature, like one, two, three, four, that that's it. Like four bar count every time. It's like he's such an amazing producer. But uh, it's interesting that like Ariana Grande actually decided to collaborate with Pharrell Williams uh, on this album, and like uh, Ariana Grande's fans will get something different with this album for sure. And like it's what they are they are not used to this basically. Uh, this is a sound I really like. That's why I will enjoy it for sure because I really love Pharrell Williams' production, uh, as I've already been vocal about in my older releases uh, review reactions but yeah I'm not sure <laughs> what about other people um, but again I will dig it for sure REM continuing listening Completely 
totally different on this album. Holy moly, matrimony. She actually like reminds me of black singers, black female singers. You know that smooth R&B? People like SZA, nowadays it's SZA, but before it used to be like Alicia Keys. People like Ashanti, you know, like those kind of people like she reminds me of. Beyonce, of course. I felt like like wake up, wake. It's like a uh, Beyonce style. Yeah, nice track uh, with the sense of throwback, you know, to good old times in music. So yeah, I, I dig it. Track five, God is a woman. I already heard it. Um, and fantastic song. I gave this song ten out of ten. If you want to check out my initial reaction to this, uh, here's the link. Yeah. Track six, sweetener. is nice, really nice. And Ariana, of course, with her uh, angelic voice. She will not go wrong. That's cool, that's cool implementation on the beat. Track 7, successful. Before we go into it though... Oh shit, never mind, hold on. <laughs> nice beats, nice beats. The product, like, I love this sound, okay? Like, I know you might not like it, but I love this song. <laughs> yeah, the song, the sound, the sound for now. <laughs> That was good, that was good. I'm so successful. Yeah, girl. Yeah, that was good, that was good. But um, the reason I actually wanted to stop the song, uh, I like right now I have a, like a calendar next to me, the Speaker With Me 3, and it's like, um, it reminds me of like a, the Speaker With Me soundtrack because, you know, Pharrell Williams uh, has always created soundtracks to the Speaker With Me. And uh, since he's working now on uh, with Ariana Grande, um, like the beat, the the style, like the sonical style is uh, similar to what we uh, were getting in this people of me. That's why it's like that's pretty cool. Like remind me of Minions. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Track eight every time. Cool, cool, cool. Not a bad track. I enjoyed a little bit less than the others, but. Uh, not a bad track at all. Pretty good track still. Track nine, breathing. I, I think um, I saw it as a trending. I saw it um, as a standout track of this album by far. It's doing numbers. It's 
higher on the charts than the rest of the track list. So let's see uh, why. <laughs> Did I hear future on this? Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing future in the background. I don't know if you will have a verse or not. But that's definitely future. <laughs> Just keep breathing, 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 breathing. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, she came in strong with that second wave. break uh, and I was re listening to um, tracks we well I mean like not releasing the whole thing again but like uh, skipping and just um, like looking what we already listened and you know like I just want to say that this album is really amazing and uh, it just gives that positive uh, vibe and like happiness and just like it's really a sweetener. It's really sweet to the ears and uh, it just makes you um, appreciate life and makes you just like be happier. You know, when you put it on and just like you do your stuff uh, in, in life, like uh, maybe with a everyday routine, maybe, but like it's uh, it gives you like more positive approach in doing things and like and you just with a smile <laughs> you just do it you know like it's it's really nice I miss this kind of records and I'm glad that I'm getting one and um, also since this is a pop record as well I um, I haven't been listening to pop lately um, to maybe to rap maybe to alternative uh, music but uh, you know pop not so often because uh, people stop delivering high quality songs on pop when there are uh, pop songs pop releases by a famous artist we of course review them react to them and usually they are pretty good uh, and I do listen to those tracks but um, before it used to be much more now if you check the billboard 100 like hits was uh, what's hot right now it's only uh, rap tracks and I really love rap but uh, sometimes you want to listen to pop as well because like pop and rap they're both equally important for me uh, and um, yeah it's so it's nice that finally uh, I'm getting a pop dose uh, a really nice one with this album I really enjoy this track 10 no tears left to cry Track 11, we have uh, Borderline featuring Miss Elliot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, before we go there, before we go there, first of all, Missy Elliot, rap female legend. She's adorable, <laughs> okay? She has a nice flow, she's really entertaining, she's amazing, fantastic, and also. This is all happening with Pharrell Williams' beat, Ariana Grande, Missy Elliott, Borderline. Fucking let's get it. Starting from the beginning. <laughs> let's go. Okay, we don't need a chair on this one, probably.
fun. She will come with more energy, to be honest. That's it, that's it. Hold on. You don't use Missy Elliott like this. You don't call her and invite her to the studio and say to her like, okay, can you just mam mumble four bars and then leave? Like, no, you don't fucking do that to Missy Elliott. Fucking idiots. <laughs> no, but seriously though, like, what the, who the fuck thought about this? The beat is nice, going well. In the middle of the track, it's like, it gets a little bit stale because Ariana pretty much Ariana does the same thing uh, unlike the other on the other tracks like Ariana uh, doesn't bring much to the table on this one so I when Missy Elliott comes in I expect fucking banger like like I want uh, her to eat that shit so so that the track will be memorable you know but this doesn't happen and she just like na 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 I'm out of here. <laughs> That's it. <you> know? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like 30 seconds left of the song, and that's it. I don't, I don't know what to think about this one. And track 12, Better Off. Track 13, good night and go. Oh. Yep. Another nice one. It really sounds freaking nice. I really like this one too. Wavy. It's really wavy, really smooth and nice. 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 Great job. Ariana, track 14. Pete Davidson. It's uh, her fiance. Future husband, hopefully. Hopefully it will work out. The reason why I'm looking here is because of my phone, like I wanna like read the lyrics uh, for this song, like I'm just curious like what she has to say about uh, her um, soulmate. Okay, okay, um, okay, <laughs> like it's fine, like it, don't, it doesn't have to be like all of me loves all of you like it doesn't have to be like uh, this then you that you don't have to get that emotional but it, it's okay it's an okay track um she says that um no better place or time to meet you basically like you kind of fall you kind of fell uh from the sky into my lap um uh, and i know you know that you're my soulmate yeah yeah and like uh basically now she's happy that she got him. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> All right, track fifteen. Get well soon. Oh, five minutes long. She keeps reminding me, especially like right now uh, on on this track as well. Gospel, uh, black, uh, Catholic uh, singers like. Like, you know, like, have you seen the movies or, um, well, I have seen it only on the movies because, like, I, I'm not a black person, so, um, like, when, you know, there's a church and, like, they happily sing on Sundays, like, or, or like, uh, the song comes into my mind, is like, for, uh, for some reason, it's A, B, C, 
One, two, three, da, 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 da. But I mean, like, they're just so happy and, like, um, celebrative, I guess. It's, like, a really awesome vibe going on. But, the, like, the vocals, the voices of those females. Um, even though Michael Jackson is not a female <laughs> with ABC, but uh, you, you get the point. I just wanted to show you, like, the vibe I'm thinking right now in my head. Um, is that, like, Ariana is kind of sounds similar right now with uh, some tracks and uh, th that's why I pointed out the R&B vibe uh, Alicia Keys, Sierra Sierra? Yeah, Sierra probably that's more correct way to say her name um, Ashanti uh, maybe a little bit of Mariah Carey actually as well on here um, and even Beyonce like, like all these influences like we got it here and also, um, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying it's bad, not at all. I actually like it um, that she sounds this kind of people because, like, you get more than one uh, style, like, you get versatility on here, you get nostalgic sounds from here, uh, and uh, the stuff you like it, when it's appearing on the album, it's amazing, you know. Uh, that's why. When Shawn Mendes did, for example, his album, uh, the third Shawn Mendes self-titled album, he sounded like Ed Sheeran, he sounded like Justin Timberlake, that's why I kind of like the album more, to be honest. Uh, the songwriting improved a lot on Shawn Mendes' album. Um, the, like, he, it still was him, of course, singing, like, you still you could hear his sound, but uh, sometimes you would get this kind of reminiscent um, styles of music of 2000s by Justin Timberlake uh, or 2010s by Ed Sheeran. Um, here, as I said, those R&B pop female uh, vocalists and I like it. I like what I've got from this album. But like we're not done yet. I will talk about lyrics as well a little bit uh, after we're done with this uh, final track. It was soon. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Why? Like the song is not over still. Like we still have twenty five seconds left. But um, the reason why she have this huge gap is because like, she's um, uh, tributing to Manchester victims. There was a, an event, sad event uh, on Manchester. People got killed, people got um, injured on Ariana Grande's concert um, by <sighs> bad person, let's say, <laughs> uh, to say the least. But yeah, um, Sweetener Fantastic album, I really enjoyed it. Let's just talk about how <laughs> um, awesome this is to listen to. Especially the first 10 tracks, I really enjoyed like how fun it is, how positive it is, how um, energetic it is. And then for me, like the last five tracks is just a different vibe. Um, is because Know, with no tears left to cry like after after no tears left to cry I mean okay with no tears left to cry she brings the change in the album vibe she uh, from having this light positive fun approach to songs like she's having more meaningful uh, soulful uh, smooth uh, tracks uh, which is also nice I really liked for example good night and go um, I really liked Pete Davidson instrumental as well the way like it was pretty cool as well I have no problems with any of the tracks to be honest except borderline a little bit I just um, expect a little bit more from the feature and from the song but overall this is a fantastic album I would suggest to anyone uh, who likes pop to listen to this uh, album uh, or just give it a chance if you don't like pop even. I like the optimism on Blaze and the light is coming when 
she says that um, you know light is coming to sh uh, to basically throw the darkness away. Uh, I like the goddess woman um, when she pisses off Christians by saying that uh, a woman is a god. Uh, god God is not a man. <laughs> god is a woman basically. Um, uh, the reason I say Christian actually is because I'm a Muslim and like uh, that's why it's kind of like better to just like <laughs> throw a shade to Christian <laughs> rather than like to my own um, religion but uh, I would I actually would say that um, probably Muslims particularly Arabs would have been more pissed <laughs> than Christians to be honest on this if they heard the track gladly there are not a lot of grown-up males in Arab countries <laughs> listen to Ariana Grande <laughs> by the way like um, just to clear it all out like I'm not an Arab um, I my ethnicity uh, is I'm an Uzbek from I'm from Uzbekistan uh, probably you don't know this country so google it if you want Uzbekistan um, it's in Central Asia uh, and what I was wearing today actually is just like a uh, from yeah from my country it's like a um, I don't know it's not even significant it's like it's not like our culture thing it's just a it's just a hat from there let's, let's keep it that way but um, yeah that's why <laughs> anyway continuing the review though um, successful was a fantastic track. Sweetener was really cool too. With the track Better Off, she says that hey, like we are in a rela uh, in a toxic relationship, but it's gonna be better if we are off each other. Like if we don't uh, stay together anymore. Um, and with uh, Get Well Soon, um, she basically says that hey, like you gotta take care of yourself and. At the end, there's a beautiful tribute to Manchester. Uh, well, not a beautiful tribute, but it's just it's just a tribute with, with silence uh, for those victims. Um, so she packed a lot in this album with 15 tracks. I I enjoyed this listen, and I would recommend you to listen to this album and watch her music videos. Um, yeah. That's it for me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell as well to not miss any of my videos. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next ones. I would rate this album 9 out of 10. I believe that this is going to be one of my favorite albums of this year. So, there you go. <laughs> On this shocking or not that shocking news, we are saying goodbye to each other for now. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye.